Hey everyone, um, so today I um, did this makeup, um, so basically all I did was get on the camera and just went for it, so um, yeah I did this because I really have nothing to do today. Um, I had two exams yesterday, then I don't have another one until Thursday, so I basically have today and tomorrow to just study and do nothing um so this is what i came up with today um i hope you like it um this is a definite this is definitely a step up from that first video i made um or at least the first one for this channel i made um because that was just a nothing i don't know mascara look where this is glam sparkles lipstick and everything can't really tell here but um yeah right now this is the what it looks like in natural light and then in the video is what it looks like behind the lighting mirror and my bird keeps screaming today so yeah set lay down yeah, so my bird's screaming and flying around. My dog's whining like crazy today. So, um, yeah, you can kind of hear that. My dog, me, and my bird is somewhere on my curtain. So, yeah, um, well, this intro has been long enough. So, let's get started. Hello. So the first thing you're going to want to do is moisturize your face because it's winter and that means that the air is super dry or at least it is here in Michigan. You want to pump some on your hand and rub it all over your face. And then you want to wait um, 1 to 10 minutes to let that soak into your skin and then you will move on. And the next thing you're going to want to do is prime your face. I'm using an e.l.f. poreless primer. And then you want to rub that all over your face as well. And let your face feel all nice and silicone-y and smooth and whatnot. Now you're going to want to put some foundation. I'm using a Maybelline Liquid Mousse Dream something or other. And then dotting it all over your face. that war paint all over and multiple little chicken pox whatever the heck you want to call them I don't know just put lots of foundation on your face but not too much because then you could look a little clowny and now I'm going to use a damp beauty blender to help blend that out and then you definitely want the damp beauty blender rather than a non-damp beauty beauty blender um, because I don't know it just helps you blend out a lot better you want me to do a comparison video at some point I can but I promise you you can just feel the results and they look great um, so yeah so my beauty blender was pretty much just soaked so I let my face dry out a little bit before I put another layer on because the more what you be your beauty blender is the more of the foundation it soaks up so I just put it in um, the foundation in more spots that I thought needed it. And yeah, my bird's just kind of flying around the um, apartment and going nuts. And then that's me scolding my dog for getting excited about it. So yeah, that is basically my life right now. But anyways, next I am taking my um, Too Faced Born This Way concealer and dragging it along my eyes and then I'm going to put it on my chin, my cupid's bow, my nose, and also my forehead. But first I'm gonna blend out my eye makeup for whatever reason. Um, yeah, let's be doing that. Super cool, huh? And then here I go. On my chin, my cupid's bow, bridge of my nose, and my forehead. And then I am blending that out as well. Excuse the bird scream. 
he just can't help himself today for some reason. He's usually not this loud, but he is today. It's great. Here's me blending again. So now I'm going to use my NYX translucent powder. It is a loose powder rather than the pressed powder because um, I like it better. And then I'm going to use a big fluffy powder brush and put some product on there, rub it all over my face till my face feels nice and matte and powdery and whatnot. Um, yeah, it's, I use a lot of powder, probably more than necessary, but you know, whatever. And now on my Luxie 504 brush, I'm going to take my Too Faced um, chocolate something or other bronzer. I use it as my contour color and I'm going to drag it along my um, the hollows of my cheeks and blend that stuff out. Today I'm going extra contour for some reason and it's going to be great. Cheerio. What it? Sorry going off again but here I am blending and blending and blending with my Luxie 504 and then I'm going to put it on my forehead that same bronzer junk and um, I'm also going to take it on a little um, fluffy foundation brush and put it on my chin and then I'm also going to put it on my nose because I want to look more three-dimensional and um, I want my nose to be thinner because it's freaking huge. Not saying that if you have a few, not saying that if you have a huge nose, you can't love it because I mean my nose is pretty great, I guess. But um, yeah, got to contour that all out just because I do. Now we are going to add some blush. I'm using my Pandora's box or face, Pandora's face that I got in a Nipsey bag one time and I very lightly um, dab it all over my cheekbones above my contour color um, because this um, is a very strong color. So you have to be very careful with it. If anybody else has it, they know you cannot just wipe this on your face gotta be gentle and whatnot and then this is my Becca highlighter this one is the Moonstone uh, pressed and then I'm gonna use my Luxie 504 brush for the 80th time and blend it on my upper cheeks and my forehead nose chin and Cupid's bow looks great there you go see it Woo. Now it is time for those brows. I'm using an angled brush and my Urban Decay Brow Box and brown sugar. Put some wax on there and to make my uh, brush a little more shapely, then I'm gonna use a spoolie and brush out my eyebrows and then take the darker color in the palette or box or whatever you wanna call it and I'm going to line my eyebrows. I just use the natural, um, shape of my brows for this because I don't know I think they're all right and then you're gonna fill them in with that same color or whatever color seems to fit you best mine happens to be the darker color so that is what I use and then you are going to want to do it like darker towards the back end of your eyebrow and then lighter as you work towards your nose just because that's like the in thing now so that's what we do and now because I'm such a screw up, I am going to use my concealer again on a little tiny concealer brush and make my eyebrow more shapely and less embarrassing. So that's what I am doing right here. And then I'm going on to my other eyebrow and doing the exact same thing that I did before. And um, yeah, they're not exactly even, but once I heard from a good old friend 
that your eyebrows are supposed to be sisters, not twins. So yeah, it's perfectly okay if your eyebrows are not perfectly even. Um, just make them look as fabulous as you can and then go on your merry way. And now I'm going to prime my eyes using my Smashbox 24 hour photo primer or whatnot. And I'm gonna dab a little bit on my finger and rub that all over my lid. And then I'm going to put a very small amount, which I don't think got recorded or deleted or whatever. And then I'm gonna put it on like the lower lash line of my, oh, there it is, right there. Just a little tiny bit. Whew. And then you leave that cool for a minute and then I'm going to take a little tiny like eyeliner brush and because I did not get the video in the shot I am using uh, milk chocolate and I'm putting it in my crease you can see it circled right there it's a great color Too Faced chocolate bar palette then I am kind of doing a cut crease or at least I'm trying you can wait till the end of the video it doesn't necessarily go too well but um, yeah that's what I'm doing cut my crease with my milk chocolate color and there I go And now I'm going to make my crease a little darker with the semi-sweet color of the same palette. And I'm basically going to be doing the exact same thing as I was before. Um, drawing my crease on there with a little bit dark color, then blending it out so it's not such a harsh line. So now I want to clean up that crease and I'm going to take on my little tiny eyeliner, not eyeliner, concealer brush again with my concealer. I'm going to clean that up so it looks more cut creasy, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing here.
Okay, so now for a more blended look, I am doing uh, my Seaside Caramel or Sea Salt Salted Caramel from the Too Faced palette. And I am using my fluffy brush that I used with my highlighter before, and I am going above that blended crease color. Um, because I kind of want to smoke it out a little bit. But now I'm taking my white chocolate from that palette again um, on a flatter um, brush and just packing it on where I put that um, concealer on my lid to lighten up my lid. And yeah, that's what I'm doing here. now for whatever reason I want my crease to be even darker so I'm using the black forest truffle color on that little eyeliner brush and putting that in my crease I guess it's um, defining my crease better um, so yeah that's what I'm doing here Here's the fun part, we're gonna add some glitter. So here I'm using my Too Faced Glitter Glue um, Primer and dabbing that everywhere I want my glitter, which is just my lid. Um, so yeah, there we go, it's nice and tacky to hold on that glitter real good. Using my um, Full Exposure Palette by Smashbox, I'm going to take the darkest brown shimmer shade and pack that onto the outer corner of my eyelid with a um with that flat foundation brush again here's me just packing that stuff on there and having fun with it um this palette has a lot of fallout so make sure you use a fluffy brush and wipe that stuff off so it doesn't like stain your face um and so here i am taking the second shimmer shade and um yeah, I'm basically just doing an ombre effect here, packing that on um, next to the dark color, and yeah, that is what I'm doing. And then next we are going to use the second to lightest brown shimmer shade, and packing that all the way into the inner corner of my eye with that exact same foundation, not foundation, what am I doing? I don't know what I'm doing with my life. It's finals week. Anyways, with my flat um, eyeshadow brush. And now I'm going to take my highlighter, my Becca highlighter that I used earlier, and then I'm going to pop that into the inner corners of my eye to open them up a little bit and make me look a little more awake. And then here's me brushing out all that nasty fallout. And then for the bottom lid, I'm going to take the second um brown matte shade and using that um flat found i don't keep calling it a foundation brush that flat eyeshadow brush and i'm going to smudge it all over to create a bit of a eyeliner without being too freaking harsh then i'm just gonna blend out my whole look again because you can never have too much blending Now I'm going in with that white chocolate shade again and just highlighting my brow bones. I'm going to use my IT Cosmetics um, angled eyeliner brush and my Smashbox um, jet black gel eyeliner pot thing and align my eyes or my one eye and then I'm going to do a wing. And so to do that, you just take a little bit of eyeliner and you draw a little line from the outer corner of your eye to um, basically pointing towards the outer 
um, edge of your eyebrow. And I will demonstrate that once I am done lining my eyes because I always do that first. Create me a baseline and here I go. Drawing that line from my outer corner out to my eyebrow. And then connecting those lines with another line and filling all that in until I'm satisfied. Usually I screw up a lot with this so I usually take my um, concealer brush and my concealer to sharpen that line up but today I didn't totally suck so I didn't have to. Go me. Now I am going to line my waterline with a um, pencil liner. I'm not even sure what brand this is or what the exact color shade is called because um, I have been using it forever and all that um, info has just rubbed right off the pencil. So yeah, I'm just um, lining my waterline to um, get rid of that skin color that's in between my lashes and my eyeliner because that is no fun. Now I'm using my um, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. If you can't tell, Too Faced is my favorite brand. Anyways, and um, I'm going to wiggle a little bit from the base to the tip to create some separation. And go on my bottom line. And there we go. Tons of fun, favorite mascara. 10 out of 10, 100% would recommend. So go get this stuff. It is like the holy grail of mascara. And then I got some on my nose, so yeah, that's that. So the very last step is lipstick. I am using my absolute favorite lipstick. It is um, the uh, Meet Matte Hughes line from the Balm Cosmetics in this shade is charming. I love, love, love this lipstick. It stays on forever and it looks great forever and everyone should go get it. It's great. You can get it at Kohl's or, you know, whatever. So here's me doing my lipstick. Um, yeah, make sure you moisturize your lips beforehand, which I did before this, before recording this video. So, um, yeah, so your lips don't get all dried out. The only negative thing with this lipstick is it does tend to dry out my lips, so I always have to moisturize before applying, but it looks great, and I love it, and it looks, um, or at least this shade looks really nice with all of my holiday looks. So here it is. Woohoo! All done. All right, so thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Um, comment below any suggestions on videos or you know what I could do better with my makeup tutorials um, make sure to subscribe follow my other um, social media those will be in the description box below and thanks for watching again and